what's up guys? Today I'm here with Carolina Restrepo. Uh, she is a Colombian who was also lived in the US and Europe for a little bit, right? Exactly. And I had to get in contact with her because on all of the expat pages, she's been very, very popular, highly recommended because she does uh, expat relocation services. So starting from when you arrive, how do you find an apartment, get a bank account, all that stuff. So I talk about that on my course, but it's a lot of like conceptual stuff and how you blend into the culture, but she's the one that actually gets it done. So I, I knew I had to talk to her. We have really good chemistry. I love working with mm -hmm. you. Uh, so tell me a little bit about yourself. I am the creator of Medellin Expat Services, like, like you mentioned. That's, you know, that's my, my business. And more than a business, it's something that I always wanted to do. It was like a, like a vision that I have that I wanted to help others. You've worked with like 800 clients since you've been doing this, right? Yes. It's a lot. Yeah, believe right. it or not, and all by myself, pretty much. Right. But the, this is the thing. For me, this is not work. Yeah. This is a passion. This is my way of living. I love to see the smile on my clients, satisfy clients, and most important, you know, that I really help them, you know, right. to live here in Medellin. Exactly. Yeah, and I feel like you, the, your passion and the energy that you have, it, it shows. That's why, like, that's why I wanted to bring you on because I thought you were an amazing person, and I love your energy. You're super bubbly, and you're like a Colombian mom to a lot of people, right? I want you to be okay. Nothing right. to happen to you. Right. I make sure, you know, things go well for you. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Why do you like Medellin so much? You know, first, okay, I'm going to tell you a story. You know, I used to live in United States and Europe. Mm -hmm. After living abroad and coming back to Medellin, you know, I realized that this city has a magic. It does. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> does. And I also saw, like, you know, so many people love it, and I'm from here. Mm -hmm. Why not? But, you know, it's like not only the cost of living, but, you know, the people are charming, yeah. are social, weather, are friendly. A lot of activities exactly, to do. Exactly. The yeah. weather. And, of course, the cost of living, you know, that's amazing. Yes. You know, Even though it's going up, it has gone see, up See, I hope a it lot. doesn't continue. But, yeah. yeah, it's going out a little bit. It's getting too famous. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, I, just, like, the food is more expensive. Rent is very expensive now, too. Uh, but that's why you need some local connections, because if you just did it yourself, it's very hard to find a good deal, but if you work with someone like you, it's a little easier to find a rental. Exactly, that's right. what I come into place, you know, to help people, especially because of the of the language, you know, yes. language, understanding the culture, understanding how to negotiate with right. the paisas, right, 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 right. because believe me, there is a paisa way. Yes. <laughs> to do things. <laughs> They're very. You guys are very good at negotiating. It's it's a pain in the butt sometimes, but it's it's a part of the culture. It's right? part of the culture, exactly. So, uh, what are some common challenges that people face when they want to move to Colombia? You know what we just uh, what I just mentioned. You know, not knowing the language, yeah, not knowing you know one. how to negotiate, uh, not knowing if they can trust. You know, let's say they want to rent an apartment but they don't really know if this is going to be as calm. I think when foreigners come here, uh, they think it's like really easy to get everything set up, but if you don't speak Spanish, you know, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know how the bureaucracy works, uh, the organization here isn't the best as well. You know, sometimes you go to Tigo, and if you want to get service, you're going to have to fall in line for two hours, or Banco Colombia, right? There's so many problems that people don't know about before they come here, so that's it's, why it's better to work with someone like you. It's true, and you know, I, you know, I have been advancing in this too. I remember like, I don't know, when, that, when I started four years ago, it took me more time to get Tigo or service, you know, mm, for my clients. Right. Now I get it in two or three days. Yes, because you have the client, you have <laughs> all the Now I have the right? contacts, exactly, I have the connections. Yeah, that's another thing about Colombia too. Like everything here is very connection based, right? So if uh, visas or divorce even, trying to get a lawyer, Real estate, everything is always about connections. Can you talk about that? Yes, yes, yes. No, that's super important. And, you know, I think that's why, you know, having the experience that I have, you get to have a network of people. Yes. You know, I have connections with real estate agents, with lawyers, I mean, Colombian lawyers, foreigner lawyers, accountants, eh, everything, cleaning ladies company, right. eh, babysitter, and you need to have those connections. Yeah. Also, I, I do like a selection because, you know, I don't want to refer someone that I know is not going to work, you know, for my clients. Mm. So I'm very selective with that and yes, very careful. Too. Right, right, yes. right. Your reputation, well, just reputation exactly. is very important. Yeah, exactly. I understand. And, and also because I understand, you know, American culture, foreign culture, they want things, you know, if possible, instantly, you know, right yeah, away. Right. That doesn't happen here too much, but, you know, we try to accommodate. Uh, okay, yes. No, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. You're right. Uh, so how important is speaking Spanish when you're trying to move here? Oh, my God. So important, you know. And 
Okay, that's when I come, you know, into place to help my clients. And I also, you know, I tell them, okay, at the beginning, I'm gonna help you because, you know, I want you to be here, you know, I don't want nothing to happen to you, I take mm. care of them. But then I think there, there comes a time when it, you need to learn the language, yes, you know, for everything. Yes, 100%, yes. I mean, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful I have a, a, a work, but, you know, I'm not gonna be able to be with them all the time. Yeah, so I can tell from my personal experience, mm. um, I feel like I lived a whole entire Colombian life because I was able to learn the language, right? Because I speak Spanish, I can talk to the locals, I can move anywhere in the country, you know, and I've really gotten to understand the culture and really enjoy it because if you don't speak Spanish, you don't really get to enjoy it that much, right? Well, and I really admire that. How long it took you to learn Spanish? Like? Um, it took me six months to get to like B1 fluency. That's but it? To, but yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, but then it took me like a year to get like to my level now, I mean, three years almost, right? But then after one year, I was, I was pretty good, like B2, very fluent already, oh, where okay. I could go to Manizales by myself and then live just on Spanish. So I'm gonna leave her information and she'll be able to tell you about all of her services. But we're doing a special together where if you buy my course and you buy her services, you can get a discount on both of them. I think you're gonna save around $300 if you buy them both. So uh, that's a it's very- It's a great deal. It's a <laughs> great deal, a really amazing opportunity. So let's talk about Colombian visas for a little bit. I think a lot of people think that just by working with somebody, a lot of people promise that, oh, I can guarantee you a visa. Can you talk a little bit about that? Part of my services and of relocation services includes that because, you know, I'm helping mm. people to move here. And one of the things that you need to be able to live here is a visa. Yes. <laughs> if right. no, you can only enter as a tourist and then you're counting the, the 180 days. It's a lot days. of stress. Oh it's my a God, a lot of stress. Better get a visa. But there are some internal things that I do, you know, to make sure we have more chances to get the visa. Right. But I always explain when, you know, it's 50% what we do, right? The applicant. And then the other 50% is up to the Colombian government. Yes. Because it's discretionary. Yes, it's true. And sometimes, yeah, like you can, I try doing it by myself. It took three or four months, I got no response, you know, and then I worked with a lawyer and she got it done in three days, you know, and then after they closed the office last year, they closed it for like two months and they redid all of the rules. Everything's different now. So it's just, it's, oh. it's always changing. Right? Exactly. That's another thing. And even after the change, it keeps changing because yeah. now there's something, you know, with the insurance that they didn't tell you at the beginning, right. but now, you know, especially pensioners need to be covered with travel insurance, so it's, it's better to have it so they don't get a rejection. Mm. So they're always changing internal things, you know, with the process. Yeah. Even now. <laughs> yeah. Colombia is very difficult sometimes, but I mean, that's, that's just what it's like living here. Exactly. Huh? It is difficult, but you know, it has a lot of good things. Like, you know, everything else, it has pros and cons and, you know, all the ones that we like to live here, you know, we just have to deal with all these things. Yeah, that's true. How do you get a bank account here? Okay, you know, first things first. To get a bank account first, you need a visa, and then with that visa, you get a Colombian ID. Yes. And that, then with that Colombian ID, you know, it's easier to get a yes. Colombian bank account. Can you do it with the passport? Okay, I was going to, to talk to that. There are certain cases, you know, that, okay, if you show the bank that you have some roots with Colombia, like you're going to buy a property, or, which yes. you can do with a passport. Yes. You know? Or if you want to open a business. Exactly. That's you how have, I was able You to have do to it. have a, a reason. Mm. And then, you know, you show the documents, you tell them, and you might be able to open it. Oh, okay, because yes. not all branches. Also, uh, I have heard, I, have, I haven't done it yet, uh, that you can go, you know, from branch to branch, and you find that branch yeah. that open it with a passport. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it, it really depends on who, who I mean, see? who you know. But sometimes if you're lucky, if the person is nice, they can help you with the passport. And then again, you see, it's a lot about who you know, how you do it, you know, lucky day, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but is the process really hard or you, can you do it in a few days or in an hour or? No, no, you know, I, I mean, I also have my contacts for that and I, and I make it in less time. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> nice, that's good. So what's the phone service like here in Colombia? Uh, for me, when most people come here, I just recommend that they get a uh, prepago, like a, no, prepago, cellular, cellular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so get a, get a prepaid SIM card, and it's really cheap, and you just refill it every single month. But if you stay here for long term, people want to get like a post-pago plan, right? First of all, I recommend to get a second phone. Because, you know, mm. usually foreigners come and they got the latest Samsung, the latest iPhone, right. and for security purposes, Better to get no one yeah. that if something happens, you know. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. You yeah. know, you don't waste that much. So we go. Usually, I take them to Monterrey. Mm. We get a phone. No, you don't go to El Hueco. Uh, 
Not at right the beginning. Okay, you know, yeah. not at right the beginning. First, I take them to Monterrey. Okay. Then, when they're more used to Medellin, I take them to the Hueco. <laughs> yes, exactly. I love the Hueco. I, See, it's no, like the flea market. I like cheap. it too. I love yeah. it too. But I don't know, not everyone wants to, you know, to go to downtown. It's very downtown. chaotic. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So, you know, we go by the, the cell phone. I ask them if they want, you know, to get a prepaid. But this is the thing too. To get a plan, you need a cedula. Mm. Then again, that's why it's so important, you know, I mean, to get a visa, if you want to live here, to get the visa, get the cedula, and then, you know, open doors to all these services. That's true, yeah. Also, what I do at times, of course, I cannot do it with everyone. You know, at the beginning, I help them, I put it in my name. Yes. Then they get some credit and we pass it to their name. Okay, I see. <laughs> Uh, so that, that's what I did when I first got here too, because I didn't have a visa for like the first three years essentially. Mm -hmm. So I would just, I had a Colombian friends and then they would, I would put it in their name and I would just pay them every month. That's why it also helps to learn Spanish because if you have Colombian friends, they'll help you with exactly. all that. Exactly, that's why I tell my clients, please don't stop paying because it's my credit. Yes, exactly. But that's a lot <laughs> I'm of risk doing it. I'm doing it, you know, a favor, but so you can, you know, you can have your phone here. Right. Okay, so let's talk about finding an apartment. Uh, it's lately has been pretty complicated. I would say, yes, right? I and prices have gone up significantly as well. So tell me a little bit about what it's like finding an apartment here. Okay, oh, so I get that request a lot. And a few years ago, it was easier. But you know exactly what you're saying. Also, I noticed it's because, you know, a lot of people want to come and stay in Medellin. And you know, we got like the hot spot to be, yeah. especially for digital nomads. So everything is going up, even for Colombians. Yes. Because I hear that they say it's only for foreigners, no, for, for us too. Yes. You know, we're not gonna go to a restaurant, ah, you're Colombian, we charge you less. No, no. Yeah. same, you know, foreigners, locals. Okay, so what I suggest, you know, I, I'm finding out that it's better if you want to, you know, do it through Airbnb, try to negotiate with the, with the host, yeah. with the owner. And you know, I have got good deals. Recently, uh, a client came and I gave this advice to him and he got down $300 mm. because he was going to rent it for a year. Mm. So I suggest that. Then I tell them, look around, then you're going to be living in Medellin and right. then you can make a better decision. On where you want to go, exactly. And yeah. also, when I mean, I have a lot of connections with real estate agents. You know, mm. of course, I can, I can provide it for them. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much the same advice I give too. See? That seems to be the easiest one. You have to Airbnb and then talk to the host. Uh, but now I'm making a lot of connections with real estate agents, exactly. so I know people in the business, and I want to get into that, but that's a topic for a different That's day. another topic. Yeah, that's a different <laughs> topic. Okay, so let's talk about uh, medical tourism and the healthcare system. You're very well-versed in that. Perfect, okay. Um, I want to start with the, with the health system here in Colombia, which is one of the best, you know, in Latin America. We got one of the best hospitals like uh, Clinica yeah. Las Vegas, yeah. El Rosario, Pablo Tomón Uribe. We got, you know, uh, the towers in Tesoro Mall. Mm. You know, I take a lot of clients there because they do a lot of plastic, plastic surgery. Ah, and yes. you have everything there. You a lot have of dental work dental too. Dental right? work too. Yes. Exactly, you know, people can come here because it's affordable. And also at the same time, you know, it's a touristic place. So you right. enjoy, mm. right? Yes. Um, okay, but in regards to the, to the health insurance, so we get uh, basically three types. The Colombian, the government insurance, which is what we all Colombians, you know, have. EPS, right? See, EPS, you know, it's an obligation, you know, we need to enroll in that system. I mean, it's good, you know, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good, you know, it's cheaper. I mean, there's certain disadvantages, like, you know, we have to wait, you know, longer to get a specialist, but, right. you know. That's what I have all my life, you know, I like it. Mm. I need to wait maybe, you know, so they check my eyes or for dental, but you know. And it's cheap and it's like the copay exactly. is like 14 mil pesos, right? Or 15 mil pesos. Uh, $30. What? $30. Ah, no, for me, in, in Manizales, ¿Sí? me compraron como 15 mil pesos. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I cheap. paid 30. <laughs> it was so cheap, it was so cheap. I, I couldn't believe it, but. But it's, it's still cheap, yeah. yeah. Uh, then, then you have the private insurance, which I know a lot of my clients get. Yes. Because they say, Carolina, I mean, we get direct access with the, you know, the best specialists in the whole country. Yeah. Because it's not only for Medellin. Oh, really? In Bogota? Wow. Yeah, they can go to Bogota and they have access when you get the policy. Mm. So that's why a lot of people, they, they don't even want to deal with the EPS. Yeah. They go with the policy and depending, there's three types. Evoluciona, Clásico, and Global. Okay, okay. This, this is with Sura, okay? okay? You know, I work with Sura. You are paying, you know, for two people, let's say. Mm -hmm. Also, the, the, this depends a lot on your age. Mm. The younger you are, it could be a little bit you know, more expensive. Exactly. Okay, yeah. But let's say, I, I give you an example. A lot of my clients are retirees. 
I have a couple and they pay like $380 a month. Mm. But for, for two of them? For two of them. Oh, wow. That's but they're getting the best of the best. Yes, right. And I think that a lot of people, like maybe my age or your age, I heard one that's like $100 a month or $200 a month, right? Exactly. Yeah, but that, that's really, really cheap. Exactly. You, yeah. still, you, know, you still get you know, amazing doctors. And as I say, you, know, you can travel to another city. You get dental, uh, you know, surgeries. It covers. You know, it covers a lot of things. Mm, you know? Very nice. Okay, cool. And then travels and travel insurance. Exactly. Insurance. That's the, the other one that now is in, in boom. Especially when you want to get a visa, because of course you don't have access, you know, to the to the Colombian health system. Mm. But they want you to be covered, you know, when you travel to another country and you stay. I also have the contacts for that, you know, if you if you need it. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. So, if you need it. <laughs> I, yeah, I will. And who knows? You know, I got some people after me now, so I might need it. Exactly. Uh, okay. So let's talk about money for a little bit. You know, I how do how do people transfer money over to the country? I personally have just always used like a Charles Schwab account and then uh, like an international debit card, no foreign transaction fees. And I always withdraw from WVNDA. I used to withdraw from BBVA, but then now they have a commission that they did. Before they didn't, Same. but then now they put it. So WVNDA is the best bet and always decline their conversion rate because they're going to offer you a conversion rate, but it's like seven, eight percent, like less than what you actually should get. So always decline and then you can withdraw from that bank. Uh, yeah. Perfect. That's it, right? Is <laughs> That's that it? it pretty much. Uh, okay, perfect. But I, I mean, there's certain apps, depending on which country you are, like, you know, you can use Wise, Venmo, PayPal. Zoom. Uh, exactly. All yeah. these apps, you know, help mm. a lot. Remitly, you know, mm, I yes. have clients, you know, in London or, you know, in Scotland, you know. Like, oh, wow that they can use it oh, okay I and see. it's very quick of course it has its fees but you know it's practical too and what i really suggest to my clients is the same thing that you mentioned i prefer you know you get your debit card mm. charge swap is amazing it's amazing you get the transactions fees back and you know you just get your money exactly yeah as yeah. you need it exactly <laughs> exactly because you don't want to be walking around with a big sum of money like you go to western union you get five six million colombian pesos and you have it in your pocket or your bag i just don't feel comfortable walking around with a lot see, of money exactly. so it's better debit card you pull it out and then do what you have to do. So something that I used to do uh, when I was paying all of my friends, so they have something here called like consignacion, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like a bank transfer, but you can pay cash in a grocery store or they have some stalls around the city that says uh, Bank Colombia Corresponsal. Mm -hmm. And then you can go there, you just give them cash, you put in whatever account you want, and then you can transfer money to any account, mm -hmm. any Bank of Colombia account or anything. Tell me a little bit about your services. Where can people find you? Okay, uh, you know, I offer a big variety of services, uh, relocation services. Uh, I also, and at the beginning, I offer a consultation because I think it's important that I know what I'm doing with my client. Yes. I can see the profile, their needs, their expectations, so uh -huh. I can guide them better. The visa services, migration services, interpretation, translation. I, I like to clarify something because interpretation it goes more with me accompany the client. Right. And it could be business meeting, event, doctor's appointment. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And translation is more, you know, in the document. Mm. Translated documents, you I know, see. Okay. to be used for legal purposes. I see. Okay. okay? But I, I offer that service as well. Uh, U.S. parts for renewal, apostille services. Okay. And then I also come more into the, the personal assistant, what I do. Everything. everything yes it's a lot of work for you but i <laughs> I, I, I admire that uh, very much about you because it, you can tell that you take your work very seriously you know mm -hmm. and it, my whole entire time with you you've been very professional you're very organized you always arrive on time okay. that's another reason why to work with her because she knows american <laughs> culture really really well and uh yeah for me in my experience it's been a, been a pleasure all right bye